Hey, this is Emily at Oz Inflatable Kayaks, and in this video, you're going to learn how to choose a dog friendly kayak. Dogs love kayaking, and so it's great to have them in a kayak with you, but as long as they're feeling safe and comfortable, that's the most important thing. There's quite a few features we look for when choosing a dog friendly kayak. I'm gonna go through, um, I'm going to go through them with you one by one in this video. Okay, so this is me. I'm out kayaking with my daughter who was two at the time and we were having a great time. I was testing out a new kayak and I thought, oh, she can come out for a little paddle. And then she did this, okay? So being a two-year-old, slightly unpredictable and she's like, oh, let's have a look in the water <laughs> and leaned over. So nearly her, me, and as you can see on the selfie stick, my phone all went into the broad water. <laughs> Um, and the reason that happened is the kayak that I was paddling was not a stable kayak. Why wasn't it stable? Well, generally speaking, you get stability from width. And you can see by looking across the beam of this kayak, it was a narrow kayak. This is the Air Fusion Evo kayak from Advanced Elements. Now, it is an amazing kayak to paddle. It goes super fast, tracks beautifully, right? Stunning, stunning kayak. But it's not that stable because it's narrow. Okay, compare it with the Advanced Ram Sport Kayak, also from Advanced Elements, and this is in proportion. You can see the Sport is a much wider kayak, okay, so it's way stabler. You can basically have a sleep in this kayak, like it's, it's just so tremendously stable and comfortable. Um, so the Advanced Ram Sport is going to be a lot more suitable for an unpredictable element like a dog or a small child than the Air Fusion Evo. Okay. Now, aside from stability, we also need to look at space. Is there gonna be enough room for you and your dog or dogs, okay? Uh, this is a good example here. We've got a front paddler, and you can see by the foot, we've got a rear paddler, who's also taking the picture. And then we've got two large dogs, and look, that foot isn't even reaching the front here. So you can see that this kayak, this is our advanced ram convertible kayak. This kayak has plenty of space for a couple of large dogs and a couple of paddlers. Now you might be saying to me, well, that's great, Emily, but if I don't have a picture with the dogs in it, how do I know if a kayak's gonna have enough space? And one of the keys is to look for the legs. Okay, so you can see this is our Island Voyage 2 kayak and it's a, it's a tandem kayak, but it's a much smaller kayak. And look at their legs. The, the paddler's legs are bent, quite significantly bent because it's not as long. Compare that with our Advanced Stream Convertible Kayak, you can see that the legs are straight out in front and there's room between the paddlers, okay? So that's how you know straight away, just by looking, that the convertible is a much longer kayak and is therefore much more likely to have room for a dog or for two dogs than the Island Voyage 2 kayak. The other thing you can consider is a sit-on-top style kayak. So this is our straight edge kayak. Um, the great thing about sit-on-tops is there is no cockpit because that's the other thing you want to consider. For a sit-in kayak that has cockpit, where does the dog go? Do they, does they, do they go on top of the deck? Do they go sort of inside? You know, do they try and squeeze into the cockpit with you? Well, with a sit-on-top, it's wide open so they can plonk themselves pretty well wherever they like. <laughs> However, they don't have walls quite like a sit-in kayak does. So see how his bum's on the edge there? If they were to get a knock uh, or, or you know, a wave was to come along, he could easily go over the side. Uh, one of the things we like in this convertible and the convertible elite kayak also is that they actually still, they're sitting kayaks with walls. So if they want to sit inside the open cockpit, they can, but they can also go up the deck. So for the little dogs, I see this quite a lot. It always makes me nervous, but then I have to remember that dogs have four legs, so they've got pretty good balance. But what we've got here is the deck zipped onto the wide open cockpit in the convertible, and it gives a flat surface for the dogs to hop up onto. And they seem to love going out on front here as well. Okay, so if you've got either a sit on top, you've probably got room for a dog. If you've got a large open sit in kayak, you've probably got room inside. And if you've got a wide flat deck, um, you've probably got room for the dog up on top but always a good idea for them to be wearing a little doggy life vest. Okay, this is an example of the Advanced Ram Sport that we sell, where you've kind of got that hybrid of having a sit-in kayak, but with a wide open cockpit. You can fit you and quite a large dog in, and the dog can come out up on the deck as they want to, okay? But the kayak itself is only 11 and a half kilograms, so you don't have to, you know, if it's just you going, because dogs, funnily enough, don't help. <laughs> They don't carry kayaks, they don't inflate them, so if it's just you going and you want something nice and light, you can manage the sport yourself, get it all set up, 
take it out paddling, but there's still enough room for a fairly hefty dog um, to have a great time and have plenty of freedom of movement. This is the convertible elite, um, the advanced ram convertible kayak. Sorry, and the Advanced Rank Convertible Elite is very, very similar, just with a slightly different floor. And again, you can see how you've got that nice combination of a wide open cockpit, but with walls. So they feel safe, secure, and in this picture you can tell, very, very relaxed <laughs> whilst you're having a paddle, okay? Now, so we've talked about um, stability, we've talked about you know where they're gonna go, space and, and decks and sides. We need to talk about durability. You know, dogs have claws and they're not conscious of what they're doing with those claws. You can't say to a dog, you know, hey, don't jump on that floor, you know, you'll, you'll break the kayak. So the kayak needs to be extremely durable. And this is more relevant when we're looking at inflatable kayaks. So most of our kayaks are made from a product um, called PVC Tough Holland which is a layer of fabrics uh, sandwiched by two layers of PVC. Now, not only does it add thickness and prevent any sort of ripping or tearing, it stops the PVC stretching, so it gives it really good rigidity as well. If you're looking at an inflatable kayak and you see PVC tarpaulin and it's reasonably thick, that's a really good start, okay? It's a great product, very reliable. Another thing you want to look for is that there's multiple air chambers so that if something happens to one, you've got another air chamber there to sort of get you back to safety. So this is an example of a patented advanced frame kayak where it has an inner tube, but there's actually a vertical wall down the middle of the inner tube. Okay, so again, if something happens to one chamber, then the other chamber will keep you going. And the other thing we've got in our advanced frame line is multiple layers. So there is, first of all, that triple layer PVC hull that we talked about. But what you'll actually notice is if you look at this black line here, that is in fact a zipper. Okay, so what's happening here is that the inner tube is not exposed. The inner tube has a cover on it and then there's a shell as well. Okay, so you don't have, the dog does not have direct access to your inner tube to do any damage. So it's a really great option for dogs. It's super, super durable from those claws. The other thing that's really good about the Advanced Frame Convertible Elite, which is our most popular dog kayak, and we package that one up in our Dog Lovers Kayak package, is the drop stitch floor. So drop stitch is a, a great for a couple of reasons. First of all, it's extremely durable. But second of all, it's, it's more stable in the sense that it's firm, okay? So drop stitch is a material, it's a chamber, sorry, that is stitched top to bottom all the way through. So you can inflate it to quite high pressure and it maintains its shape, okay? Um, so, you know, it has to be very durable, obviously, to withstand that pressure, but what it means is you've basically got like a stand-up paddleboard inside your kayak. It's a, it's a hard surface. Now, I liken this to standing on a bed, okay? The bed's not gonna tip over, it's very stable, but it is harder to stand on a bed than it is to stand on the floor because the bed is soft. So when you have a firm floor, it just gives you that bit of stability that the dogs appreciate. Okay, so the other thing we look for after, so first we looked at stability, then we looked at you know space uh, and, and configuration of the kayak. Uh, then we looked at durability. Now we're gonna look at performance because a bit like the pack up and the set, set up and pack away, the dog's not gonna help you. Dogs don't paddle, okay? So you need something that's gonna go pretty fast and pretty straight without you paying a lot of attention and without a lot of effort exerted. Uh, so again, that's where this advanced frame line really shines. Okay, because with a stable kayak that's wide, you often get a bit of what they call yaw, which basically means when you take a stroke, the kayak turns. And that usually happens because there's an upturned tip. The sort of the hull of the kayak looks like this, it's curved. What we've got in this advanced frame line, and this is a patented design, is actually aluminium ribs in the bow and stern inside the shell. Not something you have to uh, set up. The whole kayak sets up in four minutes and 10 seconds. It's just unfold and blow up and clip in your seat. But what they do is they go in the water vertically and they stop that waggle. Okay, so when you take a stroke, it keeps tracking straight. And it just makes it delightful to paddle. Uh, another thing to, that's good to look for is a fin on the hull. That really helps with the tracking. And a smooth hull as well. You know, the more sort of bumps and ridges you've got, the, the less it goes, glides straight in the water, basically. So something like the Advanced Ram Sport, the Advanced Ram Convertible Elite Kayak, they're great options for taking out a dog if there's just one of you, especially, because they're gonna perform really well even if your dog's not helping, as they don't. And the other thing we also look for is, um, 
something that's going to be able to go convertible, what we call convertible. So this is a tandem kayak that can be paddled solo. You can see the solo seating position there in the middle so that the bow and the stern, bow and the stern, sorry, got that wrong around, are in the water and help you with the tracking. Okay, and that's great if you've got a couple of big dogs because then you can say put one in the back, one in the front, or both in the back, What you know, whatever configuration you want, you've got the flexibility to be balanced in the kayak. Or it might be that just that you've got a big kayak to take out your dogs, but you're not taking them today and you're just going out on your own. It gives you the versatility to go out however you like with whomever you like on that particular occasion. So as you can see, when it comes to choosing a dog-friendly kayak, there isn't one size fits all, okay? As long as the kayak is stable, durable, has plenty of space and is nice and easy to paddle and makes your dog feel safe and secure, uh, you can have a great time paddling with a whole range of kayaks. In fact, this is the range of kayaks that we sell from Advanced Elements that are suitable for dogs. In some cases, like with the Advanced Ram Sport and the Advanced Ram, we recommend you get a drop stitch floor with it just to give that, the dog that added stability and durability. Uh, but a lot of these you can make it work and that way you can do whatever other activities. So for example, if you also wanted to do a bit of fishing, you know which ones you can choose that are good for fishing. If you also wanted to do some open water, again, you know which ones are a good choice for open water as well. Okay, so this is Emily at Oz Inflatable Kayaks. If you have any more questions about how to choose a dog-friendly kayak, please get in touch. I'd love to hear from you.